Do you love the look of 3D embossing folders, but struggle to find the right sandwich to either let the sandwich pass through the machine or get a good impression? Then this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the new universal plate system from Spellbinders that makes it really easy to use dies, embossing folders, 3D embossing folders, and more. Today, I'm gonna to be focused on 3D embossing folders because I absolutely love the look that they can achieve, but I have really struggled to find the perfect sandwich to get them to go through the machine safely and achieve that three-dimensional look that they're famous for. So first, let's take a look at what comes inside the box when you buy the Universal Plate System from Spellbinders. All right, so let's take a look at everything that comes in the box when you buy the Spellbinders Universal Plate System. As you can see, you can use these plates to cut, emboss, you can use other things as well as 2D embossing, 3D embossing, and they come in a new extended length, which means that you can use them with slimline dies and slimline embossing folders. So they all come in this box, all the plates that you're gonna get. You start with this thin shim. I haven't used this yet, but I'm sure I will at some point. Then you have, this is the embossing mat. So if you wanna use your dies to emboss, this is the mat that you'll use. And there is instructions on the base and the top platform to show you how to do that. This is the adapter plate. So this is not a cutting surface, but that's the plate that you're gonna to use to 3D emboss. Here is one clear cutting plate and a second clear cutting plate. You can buy those separately as well. There is the platform top and the platform base. And as I mentioned before, this is an extended length compared to your normal platinum six length. What you see on top is the normal platinum six platform that comes with the die cut machine. This length is definitely extended. Again, that's going to make cutting and embossing with your slimline dies and slimline embossing folders and larger embossing folders a lot easier. So here's the traditional plate next to the extended plate there. I am super happy to have that extra room. I just struggle sometimes getting those really big slim line dies to cut perfectly. So let's start by taking a look at this sandwich. This is the normal die cut sandwich, which is the platform base, then the platform top, and this is what I'm going to keep near my machine. A bottom cutting plate, then you're gonna put your paper and a die, and then you're gonna put your top cutting plate on top of that. So that's your basic die cut sandwich. As you can see, the 3D embossing sandwich is to the right, and I'll show you that next. Now let's take a look at some new 3D embossing folders from Spellbinders and how they work with this plate system, as well as an older 3D embossing folder from another company. Here are two newer embossing folders, 3D embossing folders from Spellbinders. This is corrugated, and then on the right-hand side, I have tufted, and they have a bunch of fun new 3D embossing folders. On the old platform system, you can see that with the 3D embossing folder in there, it was just too thick to fit through the die cut machine. So, and you don't wanna ever crank the handle if it's not going in, you could break the machine that way for sure. So don't even try. If it feels like it won't go through, it won't go through. And then even with just one cutting plate, it was too much. So taking out both cutting plates, it's not going to emboss at all. So you had to come up with like cardstock shims and like all kinds of things to make those 3D embossing folders just work perfectly, just because they are just so thick. Okay, so here's the 3D embossing sandwich on the new universal plate. You have your platform base, then you have your paper inside your 3D embossing folder, and then you have the adapter on top. And it's that adapter that is just thick enough in addition to that 3D embossing folder to make it run through the machine smoothly, but also to apply enough pressure that you're going to get the perfect impression. So once I take the paper out of this 3D embossing folder, you will see how perfect it came out. You can see 
all the little details of the tufting around those little buttons in the center. And it just looks great. So now let's try it with the other embossing folder, the corrugated. So I'm going to put an A2 piece of cardstock. Obviously those are big enough that you could fit larger pieces of paper. I am going to use the same exact sandwich that I just did with the adapter plate on top. And once again, this is the perfect combination for these 3D embossing folders. Look at all that dimension. It's so dimensional. I can't even believe it, yet it was nice and easy to turn the handle and crank it through so I wasn't afraid of breaking my machine. Here is a slimline embossing folder from Spellbinders. So I just wanted to share how those extended plates work. You can see that it's not hanging off either side and the cutting plate is perfect. So this is the universal plate system with the extended 2D embossing folder, so it's not as dimensional. It's just your regular old embossing folder. The only thing that's different here is the length of it. And I just wanted to showcase that those extended plates really do help get your entire uh, slim line embossing folder image onto your cardstock. So that is another benefit of these universal plates and you can see all that dimension there. Okay, but what about another company? So I found this one from Memory Box was a little too thick for the adapter plate. So the adapter plate is a little thicker than the clear plate. So I decided to go down to the clear plate and I was able to turn turn the crank and get it to go through. You could see I was like a little stuck there and I was a little hesitant, but once I got it going, it ended up working fine and check out all that dimension. Again, I didn't have to mess around with cardstocks or other shims. This was perfect. So you can see all these different impressions I was able to create. Now let's use the universal plate system to do some die cutting and grab those backgrounds and make a few cards. Okay, to do your die cutting, you want your platform bottom, your platform top, your clear cutting plate, and then you're gonna put your paper or your cardstock down, and then you're gonna put your die down with the cutting side facing down, and then another cutting plate on top. And again, super easy to roll this through, to crank the handle, and to get a beautiful, smooth die cut. So I was very happy with how the system die cut as well. It's pretty much the same type of sandwich that you use on your normal Platinum 6. You just have those extended plates as well, but it did die cut beautifully. So I'm going to do a little more die cutting. This is an addition to that parcel and post mailbox die, which is back in stock. So if you saw my last video with it and you wanted to grab it and it was still out of stock, now it's back in stock so you can check it out. And I absolutely love this mailbox. I had mentioned in the last video that you could use this mailbox for things other than Christmas, even though I used it in a Christmas format in that video. So today I wanna do just a little love note mailbox. So I've cut the mailbox and the side and the sort of handle, not the handle, but the, the part that that opens on the mailbox out of two different colors of red so that you could see the difference between the side and the base and that just makes it look a little more dimensional. I cut the handle out of gold and then this other additional accessory, these love accessories can be purchased separately to add a cute little love message or a little XO and some hearts on little sticks. So it's kind of like creating a bouquet back there. So I'm gonna pop up the mailbox and I'm placing it on the tufted uh, embossed background. And just that little bit of embossed background makes such a difference in the background. It's subtle, but it's so dimensional and pretty at the same time. And I love embossing folders for this. Just such an easy way to create interest in your background without having to do much of anything at all, except roll it through a die cut machine, right? So now I'm just using liquid glue, that Ultra Bond from Thermoweb, to put a little bit of liquid glue behind these. The little leaves and the stem come in the mailbox die, the heart on the sticks, that's in the little love accessories set. The XO is in the love accessories set. So there's a couple of different sets that you can get to go with this mailbox. And I love when companies do that because then it makes the main die set that you purchased have more value because you can use it for different themes and different holidays as well. 
Now let's use that corrugated background. Again, this is one that is so versatile. You could use it on any card, literally any card, and it's going to just up the wow impact of that card just because of all the dimension, but it's versatile enough to be used for masculine cards, feminine cards, whatever you want. Okay, so the items that I'm using here are from the different kit clubs from this past month. So I have the Glimmer Kit is that oval and the flower and the little sentiment and the little butterfly is from the card kit of the month. So do check that video out if you're interested in any of these supplies as well. Just a fun and easy, pretty card to put together with that wow background with that embossing folder, that 3D embossing folder. Of course, we wanna use the other embossed background that I created. So I am going to pick one of the sides of this embossed background. You can see both of them look amazing. Just all that dimension and all that detail and interest that you get from really getting a good impression when you run your 3D embossing folders through your die cut machine. So I am going to ink blend with some Spellbinders blending brushes and some Distress Oxide and Sponge Sugar. And I'm holding the oxide in place with a waffle flower ink holder. I just shared those in a video recently and I, I find them to be very helpful so that you don't have to worry about holding the ink pad in place. I cut this background down so that one part of it is going to be the dark without the ink blending and then the bottom part is going to have the ink blending. And that was just because I loved the way both of them looked and I didn't want to favor one over the other. But basically, I am just so happy that I purchased this universal plate system from Spellbinders because it really helped me get my 3D embossing folders back into the mix and not be frustrated every single time I'm trying to figure out a new system of how to get them through my die cut machine. I'm really glad I decided to buy this universal plate system from Spellbinders because it does give you some more options when creating your sandwich, which allows you to do lots of embossing, 3D embossing, die cutting, and more. Another Another Spellbinder system that I'm really glad I purchased is their Glimmer Hot Foil system. If you want to see a video all about that, you can check it out over here. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. There's because, oh, mm. 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 no, no, too many also's, too much. Now let's use the diet. Mm. Mm. Now let's use, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs>